Right, so uh, here we go again. Uh, what I need to do today is uh, go to the doctor. Uh, I need to, uh, you know, make sure my health's okay. Uh, a couple of people worried about me. So if you're uh, on the uh, Airbnb uh, online experiences team, I'd really love to talk to you actually. Uh, uh, I'm getting lots of uh, very interesting footage. Um, working on doing it all live as well. Uh, so uh, I've got a background in, uh, uh, in software and media. Uh, I've been on national television. Uh, and uh, uh, recently I've started sort of filming and uh, streaming uh, my my kind of life live if you will uh so uh what i'd love to do is speak to you guys uh and uh show um the uh, uh and show people show uh airbnb uh users uh what uh what i get up to uh and how i do it uh what it takes to pull something like this off I met my taxi driver at the uh, petrol station uh, seems like a really nice guy hey man uh, he's just grabbing some fuel and we'll uh we'll get on our way to the hospital so very important to always wear a seatbelt, I'm just going to pop mine on now. There we go, hard to do with one hand. Right, I'll see you guys in a bit. So we think it's going to take about 35 minutes. I left my hospital this price, is it okay? Uh, so, am I expected to... Oh right, so yeah that's, uh, yeah, that's fine mate. Yeah, so he says it's about 40, uh, which... Uh, 40 uh, ringgit, which is around like 8 pounds, something like that. I'll deal with the insurance company later. Yeah, hi. Want to go? Um, I want to go to Island Hospital. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. This is the MCA control zone. Uh, all of the guys here are doing a really good job. The police are here. The military are here. Uh, it's uh, you know. Uh, it's really nice to see, uh, I, I guess, uh, some, you know, some, some action being taken to stop, uh, you know, the, the spread of the uh, of COVID-19. Uh, particularly when I know at home things aren't going so well. Uh, you know, maybe yeah, we could learn from uh, the way that Malaysia is acting. Look at this beautiful scenery. That is something special, isn't it? Look at the, I think it's an oil rig or something out there. It's probably going a bit fast and I'm so sorry that I don't have a good enough camera. Uh, we're looking for uh, for sponsors, uh, GoPro, Insta360. I'd love it if you could send me some cameras or Google if you could send me some phones that I can use. Uh, that'd be really, really appreciated. I, I'm, I come from the United Kingdom. Yeah, I live in live in Bristol. Yeah. How about you? So you're living here? Uh, well, I came on holiday here, but I've got. Uh, because of COVID-19 and the lockdown, um, I wanted to stay here uh, a little bit longer than I originally planned, so to stay safe. Uh, so you come here just a lot? Yeah, just me, just me, yeah, just just, just me, yeah. How about you, are, are you? We, we... Uh, my house is there. Oh, brilliant. Oh, well, it's so, so nice to meet you. What's your name? Andy, Andy. Andy, I'm Will, nice to meet you, Andy. The second checkpoint so far on the journey, you can see how seriously they take um, everyone's personal safety here and uh, the army doing a fantastic job, police doing a fantastic job. Uh, I'm not sure what the people in white are there, uh, waving me past though, so that's great. Thank you. Apparently there's a second wave coming in China yeah, though, but, yeah, so I don't know. And it's tough to, to know what's real as well, you know, because, you know, what information are we getting that's correct or incorrect? So Andy's just told me, as and I spoke about this the other day, he uh, he says he can cut my hair, which is fantastic. It lets me get get around the fact that barber shops aren't open. So I really appreciate that. And I, let me just get that number there. That's Andy with Barber Online uh, or Sunadi. Uh, uh, I think uh, is uh, involved as well. So uh, yeah, no, thank you so much, Andy. That's brilliant. I'll give you that back. Thank you. Thank you. So because of the uh, mix-up with um, the uh, with the taxi, I, I kind of forgot and then got out of the uh, taxi and didn't pay. So second time in two days, I've uh, made a financial blunder there. So this time, not paying. Last time, pay too much. So uh, nicely done. But hey ho, he called after me and said, "Hey, fair." So, so uh, now, uh, so, so I paid him his fare because he. Uh, he certainly deserves to be being paid for such a comfortable, such a comfortable journey. So, so here I am at uh, uh, Island Hospital. Uh, I've been dropped at the A and E uh, uh, entrance. Uh, there's security here. There's uh, various uh, people around. Uh, 
Right. So this is going to be quite a difficult place to film in. I don't think I'm actually going to be able to film. Actually, I might just have a little bit of a film. And the security will tell me that I can't film if I can't film. Uh, so these guys are working. Can I enter? Yeah, you should. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you. So there is a patient there uh, at the hospital. I, I want to respect their, uh, respect their uh, uh, anonymity. Um, but So I'll come over here uh, and film uh, so that we can't see who that person is. Definitely respect that person that's uh, anonymity. Uh, and indeed, uh, the entire medical team that are working with them now. Uh, it's an extremely difficult situation, to be honest. I just want to let you know that the first thing they did when I entered the hospital uh, was uh, check my temperature and ask me to put on hand sanitizer uh, to make sure that every everything's good. Uh, so this is Island Hospital. Uh, the team here seemed very professional. I'm trying to get to the third floor here, uh, but so it's definitely not that way. Uh, very difficult to understand. There's no one on reception. Uh, there is the isolation zone. Uh, this is the red zone, authorised access zone, the isolation zone that's there. Uh, so now we're going to walk down the corridor. I'm going to keep the camera facing myself. Uh, so uh, I'm just uh, covering the camera so it's very clear that I'm only uh, filming myself uh, for personal reasons. Uh, the door here is very cool, uh, quite a high cool door anyway. Uh, let's keep going, we'll press on. Uh, so, I'm just filming myself, I don't want to upset anyone here in the hospital, uh, so this is very difficult footage to capture. Uh, so we're down here uh, approaching the, uh, what looks like the check-in zone or something like that, uh, or the reception, I don't know. Bear in mind, I've never been to this hospital before, I don't know what happened to work. Okay, so I think I'm coming to the right place here. Uh, I've been told to come to the, uh, the third floor, so I've done that. Uh, uh, so uh, here's the... Uh, Here's the uh, doctors working uh, today, I assume, uh, or, or working on this department normally. Uh, so I'm just going to go up to the, the desk now and uh, I'll stop filming. So I've just uh, seen these doors here, the dry riser, uh, Telecom Malaysia, uh, PBA riser, ELV. Uh, I don't know what ELV means. Um, I don't really know what PBA riser means. Uh, I guess Telecom Malaysia is quite obvious. Uh, but a dry riser, uh, I learned this a while ago, uh, is, a, is for firefighting. So it means there's no water in it, uh, so it's a, a dry riser. They'd use that to bring water if there was a fire, not that there's you know, going to be, but uh, that's what a dry riser is for. I think what's just happened is I was told to go to the third floor, uh, but I've come to uh, the third floor and I guess this is uh, actually the, the parent-child centre. So they look quite confused when I asked them, uh, I've just come for my appointment. Uh, anyway, I'll find out what's going on. What I've done is uh, I've, uh, I've cruised straight past the massive reception here. So there's a huge reception here uh, at Island Hospital. Uh, and I've gone straight to over there because uh, I thought I was supposed to be going to level three, but obviously that's not right. Anyway, I'll get checked in properly now. Mm -hmm. Tell us now. Well, hopefully not 500,000 in the queue. Uh, I, I don't think I will be. Uh, so uh, off we go to the fifth floor. Uh, Back at the lift area, let's try this again. To meet you. Yeah. Very, very nice to meet you. Thank you for seeing me, I really appreciate yeah. it. Sounds like this is my ride. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Ali Motel. I love the gloves. They're looking very, very fetching on you. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit, man.